First, hello, I'm John Bachman. Democrats, including the current Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, are trying to sell tonight's announcement on President Obama's executive action plan as a victory for families. President Obama would be signing a comprehensive immigration bill into law instead of an executive action. But we can't sit idly by waiting for Republicans to act while homes are being broken up all across this nation. Meanwhile, Republicans are also reaching out, or reacting rather, to President Obama's announcement. announcement. The next Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, criticized the decision. The action he's proposed would ignore the law, would reject the voice of the voters, and would impose new unfairness on law-abiding immigrants, all without solving the problem. Well, McConnell and other Republicans have cited the president's last amnesty move, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, also known as DACA, saying that encouraged more young people to make the dangerous journey illegally to this country. Well, when the president speaks tonight, you can see it right here live on Newsmax TV. Our special coverage starts at 8 p.m. I'll be hosting, joined by a whole host of guests as well. As well. And we're learning new details about today's university or Florida State University shooting on the campus there. Officials say the gunman, Myron May, made several social media posts, <coughs> including that he had fears of being targeted. Police say May, who was an FSU graduate, never made it past the library lobby before he was shot and killed by officers. <coughs> Three students were also injured in the attack. And for the first time, the head of the NSA publicly confirmed some of our worst fears about a cyber attack. There shouldn't be any doubt in our minds that there are nation states and groups out there that have the capability to do that to enter our systems, to enter those industrial control systems, and to shut down, forestall our ability to operate our basic infrastructure. Well, the hearing on Capitol Hill today, Admiral Michael Rogers says the Chinese and one or two other nation states have the ability to hack into our systems to launch a catastrophic cyber attack. Admiral Rogers also says U.S. adversaries regularly conduct surveillance of our computer systems to learn more about them. Also on Capitol Hill today, officials from the Japanese airbag company Takata tell a Senate committee that the re national recall of the airbags is not necessary. A member of that committee, Senator Ed Markley, says the company is wrong about that. It's very disturbing, I think, to any American family who has a vehicle with a Takata airbag to think that that's your position today after all that we have learned. Well, the airbags were recalled in some states because they inflated with too much force, causing metal shrapnel to fly out. At least five deaths are blamed on these malfunctioning airbags. Secretary of State John Kerry says there are no plans to extend a deadline on a deal trying to be reached with Iran over its nuclear program. That deadline is quickly approaching. It's only four days away. And we'll have another Newsmax Now update coming up for you in 30 minutes. I'm John Bachman. Don't forget about our special coverage tonight starting at 8 o'clock. Now back to the Steve Malzberg Show.